I'm going to hit record again. Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art and Pumpkin Collaging in the morning. So I got disconnected, hopefully part one recorded where we did all the gluing. We spent an hour gluing all these elements onto the pumpkin. And now we're going to paint on the pumpkin and paint in a little scene. So hopefully we won't have any more disconnects. And uh, yeah see how it goes guys alrighty so we're gonna start <laughs> hopefully it'll be we'll be fine we're just gonna keep rolling with it so we have a big owl on top here and then we have another owl over here where'd he go did we cover him up <gasps> we covered him up we covered that owl up we covered that owl up with the wings of this owl so we'll make that into something. So we just got our main <laughs> I just realized that. Because when we glued him on, I was going like this and gluing his wings on. So we covered up the other owl. So. <laughs> uh, okay, I missed something. Diane says something. I, I missed it. Diane. Sorry, guys. I missed something. Y'all talking about drawing something, but I missed it. Okay, so now I'm going to get out some paints and we're going to start working on it. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's a live show with a live audience. Mostly live people. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so we're going to start painting now. So, let me go ahead. Now I'm going to need some black and white. And I just use Americana craft paint. I mean, I have a couple other brands too, but my favorite's Americana. They're not sponsoring me or anything. It's just my favorite brand of craft paint. Uh, I like the colors. As you can see, all these colors here. I like the colors and the, um, the coverage of it. So that's just my craft paint of choice. So I'm going to get out some black. And if you don't close the lids, it will give a crusty bit on the inside of the lid. I'm going to need to pour out quite a bit of black because we're doing a whole pumpkin. Oops. So I'm going to just pour some out here. Okay. And some white. And now i got to decide on some colors. I, I want this teal color, teal and orange, because I love the colors that were in, the, the co colors that were in this uh, bit of circus fabric. So I'm going to want some teal. I'm going to want some orange, jack-o'-lantern orange. And let's see. I'm going to want a probably um, a dark brown because i got my rooms here. Let's go with, uh, I'll go with the burnt umber. Go with a couple colors. I'm going to need another tray. This one will mix up my black and white. <clears throat> and what other colors? I'm going to want yellow ochre. It's butterscotch. Do I want that or do I want more of a yellow ochre? I'm going to go with more of a yellow ochre. Give Dee Dee what? Good night. Oh, night, Marilyn. Thank you for coming in. Um, a maroon color. Let's go with, you know, I don't want cranberry one. It's kind of translucent. Let's go with heritage brick. I'm getting some neutrals over here, and I'm going to need a gray. Let's go with a slate gray. So I have a tray full of neutrals. My, all right. So I got these colors, and then black, white, and teal and orange. So we'll start with that. All right. So let me get a couple of brushes here. I did buy me some new. Um, angle brushes and I just get these they're they're like five six seven in a pack for like five six bucks and I always use a coupon and I, I'm real hard on my brushes I scrub them I'm rough with them and they get real scruffy like this real quick 
So that's why I don't buy expensive brushes. So you can see how flared out that's gotten. So here's a new one to compare. Oh, Butterscotch is your dog's name. Cute. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to wet my brush. And I'm going to start... I don't remember. I think I'm going to paint the stem black. And then maybe put some... I think that's what we did last time. Painted the stem black. Okay, let's see if I need to... Oh, that looks pretty. It's probably as good as I'm going to get. I'm going to move my sleeves up. though. I don't want to get this on my shirt. Um, I'm going to start at the top then and just paint the stem black and then put gold uh, highlights on it like you know a rubby gold rub gold rub on it to make it like just have a bit of a so it's a little tricky painting on Let's see if I can do this painting on a rough you know non flat surface I'm going to try to keep, you know, watch the camera. So I'm trying to go right along. See the top of the owl right there? His wing. And there's a planet right there. And the other thing is, remember, because this is covered with matte medium, if I get some paint where I don't want it, I can wipe it away. Because the matte medium has put a coating on it. You're hungry for... You're hungry for my pumpkin? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to paint the, let me just, I, you can't see it right here, the very, very top of the stem. I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint, go all the way around and paint the, the stem. And work my way down. There's still a little bit of glue wet in there, matte medium inside the stem there where I didn't quite get it dry. So you can see there's a little planet peeking out right there. I'm going to have to go get me some coffee though in a minute. So hopefully our recording will keep going here in part two of our pumpkin collage. Our collage pumpkin I should say. <clears throat> and you can take a lot of time fussy painting this in. I don't know how much time I'll take. We'll see how it goes, how long it takes. Can kind of, you can still do the same thing like I do with my collage uh, cards and everything. I'm trying to tilt it different ways so y'all can see it. It's kind of tricky. Um, you can blend. You can still blend. You can still blend. Okay. Now, I want my owl, though, to be very um, distinguished. I mean, I want you to be able to see it. Okay, I got a little black on that planet. Wipe that off. I want to be able to, uh, I don't know how well we're going to see this, guys, as I go. It casts, but we'll, we're going to, we're trying here, guys. Trying. All right, so there's a door right there. So you just got to kind of continuously work around. So I do want to make sure that my owl's wings are showing all the way around. So I'm going to take a little time to make sure that I have them... Um, you know, really stand out. And I'm just going to kind of keep working my way down. I'm going to pick up a little of that teal color. So I want that teal to flow into from this piece here up into here. So I'm just going to start blending and working all the way around. I'll just keep turning it. And hopefully, <laughs> keep, keep letting y'all see where I'm going. Okay, I want a little more teal up in here. So it will probably be a little tricky to see some of it. Okay. 
skin. I'm adding a little bit more teal in there. I'm going to have like uh, clouds and mist and things coming over items, but that's like the final touches. Right now, I'm just getting the base coat in. I'm just getting the, you know, a little bit of the blending going on. Hopefully, y'all can see. I'm trying my best to keep turning and tilting it and all that. able to see how we doing all right so now I want a little bit of teal up on the stem so let me just kind of wisp some teal all the way around here keep kind of turning and looking at it from all angles when you're working on a three-dimensional thing you got to really keep moving it so you can see all all the parts at once So there you go, you can see the stem. Okay. All right, so now, <clears throat> let's see, I want a little bit of, I'm going to start blending in. I want that owl to kind of stand out. And then I'm just, I'm just going to keep working, guys. I'm, I don't know how much explanation is really needed. And again, if you need to blend, a baby wipe will, because the matte medium allows that, see? Yes, it's a real pumpkin. And yes, you can't keep it forever. <laughs> it will dissolve, okay? I mean, it will, you know, start to... Uh, It'll die. <laughs> it's not a permanent thing. Okay, so right now I'm just kind of working my way. And blending all, I want to get rid of any harsh edges. Like you saw that white that was right there, or see that white right there? The lines right here. I'm trying to blend, all, get rid of all the, all the white lines. From the paper and start blending if you get too much anywhere a baby wipe will you can wipe it away so that's what I'm doing now is just trying to get rid of all the Okay, I want a little bit of teal right in there. Again, back with the blending. And this is just the, right now guys, this is just the uh, base coat to get rid of all the white lines 
<laughs> I don't know. When it started, oh, the one I did last year was um, Star Wars. And Hubster took it to work. And when he says it's starting to get kind of collapse on itself, I said it's time to throw that baby away. So I'll probably have some water coming down right there. Or some mist coming right there. That'll be good. So we'll just kind of keep rolling around the sides. Okay, you just got to... Oh, I got a cramp in my side. I'm leaning in. I'm leaning in. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go with a little gray right in here. One little arch right there and around this way. So I'm going back and forth between my fingers and the brush. Just depending off I lay it down a little and kind of blend it in. Because you can kind of scruffy it in. Can you see? So like there's that little spot right there. Yoda. <laughs> no, we didn't let it go that far, guys. It's not like it was like shriveling down to nothing. It was just started to, you know, get soft and squishy. So we just, you know, he threw it away. I might pick up a little more black here. And kind of want this to kind of come around this away. So get some paint on it there and then take a baby wipe well get some with my finger too but you can start blending But anyway, uh, those pictures from last year's pumpkin are on uh, my Instagram. You can find them. All right, so now let's go back with a little bit more gray and black under that wing there. Like I said, right now, guys, I'm just really concentrating on filling in all the uh, torn edges and the white areas. Needs a little teal right in there. All right. A little bit of gray coming around that way. You can see this coming around like that. Let me take a quick break, guys. My, I'm leaning in. I've got a, I'm at a weird angle, and my, I'm getting a stitch in my side from twisting into the camera. So I need to take a quick break and go stretch and get some coffee. So, because I'm trying to stay in camera. That looks like a fish right there. I like that. I think I'll make that be a fish with his tail coming all the way around like that. That's cool. So you can still see we got over half the pumpkin to paint in. So you can see what we got so far. So I'll pick it up right here when we come back. All right, guys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Stretch. All right. Let me go get some coffee, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay. Hot coffee to the rescue. <coughs> Alrighty. Ah. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, I'm here. I'm here, Bunny. Went for coffee and to stretch my side. All right, so let's see here. A little bit, it's too much. Get rid of some of this white. I kind of, well, I think I want to feather. I think I'll paint some better feathers coming down over that. A minute. Right now, remember, guys, this is just the base coat. The, just to get rid of the white and the torn edges and kind of start blending things in. If you varnish, yes, I will. I do varnish it, Bonnie. I do. I use the same varnish that I use for my art cards on it. Well, it lasted a couple months. Well, a month and a half, maybe. I think I did last year mid-October. It lasts about a month, I guess. But yeah, I do varnish it with my Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Interior Exterior Varnish. Okay, so I might have a light source right here under his wing. That would be a good, or some lightning coming out right there. That might be good too. So let me go ahead and, I'm hearing cars and everything outside. Let me, hang on, I gotta go close this window. I hear cars and everything going out, hang on. So I think I'll have that be light right there. So I'm going to leave that just so I remember that I want that to be a light source. Okay, keep. I'm just going to keep rolling around the pumpkin here. Just keep going around the edges. So I think I want another. I think this I had decided was going to be like a waterfall in there. Because we covered up that owl face. So we'll go that way. Any questions? <clears throat> yeah, you could use, Leah, you could use a fake pumpkin. Yeah. I said that earlier. You might, you know, if you want to keep it, if you want to keep it, use a, uh, you know, plastic pumpkin or whatever. Okay, let's see. Let's keep coming around here. Put a little brown here, cover up that. Another little door is going to be right there. Let's see. Just going around and kind of imagining what I want everything to be. All right, so let's come over here. Get some gray. 
in this area. I don't like that line right there. I think I'm going to blend that in to that blotch thing there. It's a little less bright. It's a lot of fiddling. Oh, there comes the sun. <laughs> nice and bright through the window. So that to come down from there. Did you go to the pumpkin patch? No, Miss. Hey, Miss Vicky B. No, I don't have anyone to go the pumpkin patch with. I did take the kids, to the, the grands, to the uh, tree farm at Christmas. I just bought it at the store. <laughs> I just bought it at the store. And hi, by the way, how you doing? How's everything going with you? Wait to see how Miss Vicky B is doing. Don't see her very often. Okay, so we got to start here. I think this needs to kind of come around. That'll come around this way, I think. Okay, so a good start. There's an owl. Good, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, so let me hit this with the heat gun, then I'm going to do the bottom real quick. Now remember, we're going to put a gloss varnish on it when we're done. But I've got to add a lot of little, the little details that make it like a little world. Thing there. Okay, so mostly for the bottom, I'm going to have uh, outer space. So I'm going to just start with a coat of black on the bottom. I'll probably blend in a little bit here, like here we'll have a little bit of brown coming in and then blending into black. So, I'm, But I'm going to have the most of this down here be planets and stars. So... Just gonna work my way around. And you can just blend it with your finger. Don't want to lose my little fish there. <laughs> what do I imagine to be a little fish anyway? I'm 
I just don't want any harsh edges. I want it to kind of blend, see? Again, the fish thing is going to come up that way. I'm just going to have a little. A heat gun is the new way to bake a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get a little bit of this maroony color in here too. So this will come up to right there. Again, I'm trying to have things kind of blend into the stars down here. Or what will be space down here. Oops, I should probably dry that because I'm rolling onto the wet paint now. So let's, all right, let's dry this half. <clears throat> Do the other half. <laughs> All right, let's get in with a little bit of the gray and some of the brown. And then blend into the black here. Some of the teal in there because so that's going to come up this way. Just a brown. And the black. Okay, so there we go. Okay, that's good. All right, let me dry this. I missed what Teresa said. Sorry. Now, Carol. Okay, I missed all that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep drying off and on. Because, you know, I can't be moving it to rolling on a wet place, so I'll have to keep drying. 
as we go. All right, so here's what we got so far. Let's just, oh my God, what happened there? I don't know. Let me get a little bit of brown right there. Kind of blend that in. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And I know it's flashed out, guys. It's really much dark. Look how white I am. It's much, uh, it's much darker, but I don't want it to be, I want it to be, uh, y'all to be able to see. Maybe just a touch. There we go. Is that a little better? Because now the sun's coming through my window. So that's what we got so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Okay. Uh oh, see, look, it peeled off there because I didn't let it dry. All right, well, that's all right. You know what? I'm going to just leave that. I'm going to leave that little bit of orange showing through. All right, so now what I want to do is get another tray for some watered down white. This wants to roll away. Don't go anywhere. There we go. Because I wanted to start with some stars and planets. Oh, let me get my, uh, where's my spray bottle? Here it is. Since I moved everything around. All right, let's get a brush that'll flick. A soft brush. Let's go over here. Let's see. This one. All right, so I'm just going to, it's kind of like inky white, like ink, real watery, because we want to, let's move everything out of the way. Come back over here. So I'm going to start at the bottom with stars and planets. So I'm going to make sure I'm going away from me. I don't want this on me. I'm going to have to do it in sections because I can't roll it while it's wet. Okay, so start with this. All right, let me go ahead and dry this and put that on the clean side. Let me hit this and try to dry it some. Because otherwise I'll just be, you know, pulling it off, pulling the paint off on my table. Once the varnish is on, then the paint won't be, you know, peeling off any. All right, so now I'm going to start by trying to think of, like, I know it would probably be cool to have, like, a planet right there. Um, let me get a... So we'll start with that, and I'm just going to, you know, just like whatever now. So I want to get a couple of colors. back of my brush here. Looks cool. Yeah, it's going to be, everything is going to swirl off from the bottom up into the, up into the uh, houses. Okay. 
and try not to touch any of the places that are wet. Tam. All right, let me stop a minute and dry it because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to keep rolling over on top of it and I don't want to do that. All right. Some, some little highlights. Let's see. Dee Dee, you will have to take before pumpkin to go. Oh, yeah, I take lots of pictures. Like last year, like I said, if if y'all, if, if you're just coming in and you missed me talking about last year's, um, last year's uh, pumpkin, I did Star Wars the same kind of way I'm doing this. All right, before I get too far again, I got to hit this with the heat gun or I'll be messing up what I've done. looking cool thanks guys okay so I'm gonna have another all right let me go ahead and splatter some stars up here on the top while I have this nice and wet and everything I want to get it on my camera so let me do this up here real quick. OK, 
I get too much, you can just, you know. Don't want them drippy either. want some on the stem because I want it to look like the stars are going right up off the top. There we go. All right, now let me take a second and dry that. That's scary trouble. See right here? See what, what I mean about right there? See, I didn't let it dry there, so let me just pick, put some black right there. I got to, uh, I got to do this in stages, or I'm gonna be. Oh, and there's some paint right there that I'm rolling in. So let me get my direction going now. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna go the other way. This is going to have the light's going to come out. I wanted it to come out of that. Let's get the swirl. Let's get my baby white. to that so I can get this to blend better. Let's see if I can do a little swirl thing here. Just a blend. Take a look at it again. 
I'm going to need my Posca pen for some stars that will con help connect things. Okay, this has got to go right into there. Do that. <sighs> you need a cake to a table. You know, I actually probably have one somewhere, <laughs> but that's that's a good idea to put it on a Lazy Susan. All right, so now I've got my fish. Well, wait, before I do that, let me dry this. i got to remember to dry. Okay, so now I kind of got the direction that I want to go so I can start working on closer individual elements. Thanks, Diane. Anybody else popping in? It's a little I'm a little flashed out, guys, but I want it to be bright enough for you to see what's going on. Even though like that's very that's black black and it doesn't it looks like gray on camera. See how it kind of keeps flashing in and out. Maybe I'll close the window a little bit, the blinds. All right, so now I want to, let me take, like, oh, this is Posca. And I want to distinguish certain areas. This will help me have a, kind of like a path to follow. If I have some, like, stars in certain places. Now, I do want to have some, I want my um, watch hands coming out of there. So let's just do a little bit of, I'm just kind of feather it out so it's not real. But I want a little bit, and you're, and again, you're working on a bumpy surface, so you do have to kind of consider that. So like, um, this one might have a little bit of orange. So the, now the little details start coming into play. Okay, so here's the watch right there. So I'm going to want the watch hands to come out. And i got to kind of decide on my direction here. And it's, it's a little tricky because I'm going over a bump. So I'm going to take my time and decide where I want them to come out to be. And still be straight. I want it to come right into here. Okay, so now I want to thicken it up a little at the top. And probably put a shadow under it too. Okay. And then probably come across this way down to that planet right there. Thanks, Juju. couple extra bright so this will take a while guys also what time is it and we've already an hour again okay we'll work for about another 30 minutes see how far we get okay and I want one little shooting star right in here I think
All right, so I need to work a little bit more on the owl. Let's take a little time to work on him because I want his feathers to flow out more. And then, see like right there, it's got a little bit of a bunch up paint. I'll get a... Fix some of that. And I want more, um, I want more uh, wispy things and mist and stuff coming through the um, windows and things. So let's put another little planet right there. It's a little tricky on the bumps. Let that dry and I'll put some white highlight on it. Okay, so let's see where else I'm going to want. Okay, that's on this side. Let's see. Okay, let's go back down to my little fish. I need some blue gray. Hopefully, that looks like it's coming up. Let me fix that a little bit more. Because I want this to look like it's coming under this. It's going to be a waterfall there. And coming up under it there. But not too thick. It's going to stay thin to be fuzzed out. There we go. That's better. Thanks, Judy Batuti. All right, where'd my fish go? Oh, down here. It actually isn't a fish, but you can kind of uh, see a fish in there. <laughs> so I want to make it an exaggerated. And let's put a fin on it. There too. Because I want them to come around into here. Kind of like an angel fish looks, you know, with those Okay, let me dry that. All right, let me stop with and just kind of get some. Um, I think I want to start put, finding some water areas too and some misty areas. Let me get a fresh baby wipe. Oh. All right. 
roll up the old sleeves again. All right. So I'm just going to pick up some white paint and I just kind of roll it into my baby wipe and then I kind of start looking at where I can see and, and I want to get any background done before I go in here with the uh, wings you know if I want to do anything with his wings so I'm going to have to um, do this first so if I want some mist or any kind of I don't want it too that much there with that kind of like that. Just softening up. It's a little tricky get you know because you're going over bumps. It's gonna kind of to my white and my uh, this comes around this way I kind of wanted it coming out of that just in itself maybe that's what I need right here almost have to paint it because of the bumps and lumps Okay, then that'll be some water coming down there. Okay. Alright, let me see. Let me go out this coming right up to you. Also, do you every time you turn the pumpkin, you get a different view? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. You just, I just got to keep, you know, rolling it and working it. And I want to get to the owl because I want to put his wings fluffy, more fluffy, coming down here in a minute. See, I'm pulling off a lot of paint here. See all the orange? 
<laughs> that's where all the paints come off but it kind of looks cool I'm gonna leave it all that orange it just kind of looks almost more nebulized you know we like to nebulization things <laughs> so I'll just roll with it Once I get the varnish on it, then it won't peel anymore. But because I'm rolling it around on my table here, I'm removing paint. Right, so. I should pick it up rather than just rolling it on the table, you know, pick it up like this. Okay, so under his little wing here. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to exaggerate his wing down into that area. Okay. Let's do that. Let's work on him without. Okay, I need a little bit more. Do I want another thing coming out here? No. I think I'll just add some more stars right there. I'm, I'm taking a lot of stars off when I keep touching it. I need to draw. Oh, I needed another water thing right here. This is where I wanted the other one. Just to come all the way around. It's a little too thick. Let me, I mean, too needs to be more subtle. There we go. That's better. Okay. I'll put a few extra bright ones. All right, let me dry this. Okay, here's the other spot that I wanted light coming out of. Let's go ahead and do that. This one right here. Okay, I can't really do anything on top of the owl until I finish painting him. So let's go ahead and do that. I just want to extend his feathers. All right, so let's see. Here was my brown. Here it is. All right, it's so my brown and gray. Let's see what I want to do here. Come and see, do a double load. Brown and gray on here. Let's see. Let's start over on this side. Ugh. 
Then I'll have to go back in and highlight it, but you got to have the dark first. I want his feathers to be like coming over everything. You'll see. Hi, Juju. Thanks for stopping in. Okay. Now, let me blend these out. I'll add some white on top of it. Let me dry it. Let me dry brush. I need a little bit smaller brush. This brush might be a little big because of the bumps. The bumps are a little tricky. A little tricky to go on those bumps. don't want it too sharp. I want it to be subtle. It's a little tricky on the bumps, but to go in there with some shadows too because it's not defined enough. So we'll do that next. Just 
just blending it with my or wiping out some areas with my baby wipe. that blended in more. It's too black now. I don't want it black. I want it brown. Let's wipe some of that off. Get the brown in there. Dee, that would be a great Christmas ornament. <laughs> Your big pine tree! Ah! 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, good one. <laughs> it's heavy, guys. And like I said, I'm I'm you know messing up the bottom of it by not picking it up and turning it. No, that's too light. Now I gotta get the just the right color here, guys. I'm trying to get just the right brown here. To, there we go. Kind of a tan brown. Because I want it to blend into these wings. That's better. I really should get in there with a tiny brush and do some little feathers. Maybe I should. Okay, let's go back on this side now. Same thing with the brown. The kind of tanny brown here. Because I want this to show up. And they're kind of getting lost in space. They're getting lost in space. <laughs> you need a... Yeah, somebody already said that. I know, Marilyn. Somebody else said that too. Vicki, I think. Said I need the lazy Susan. Okay, let's see here. Let me stop for a minute and kind of peruse it. All right, let me check the bottom because I did, you see, I lost quite a bit of, I mean, I like the orange. It kind of gives it that exploding space effect, but I don't like it that much. <laughs> it's like a little too much. So let me just kind of go in here with a little bit of black. And feather out some of it and dry it while it's upside down. I need to varnish it. I need to varnish it is what I need to do. But again, I can only varnish a part of it for you guys to see. Because I can't varnish the bottom and, and the top at the same time. Because, you know, you got to let it dry. So. Let me just go ahead and put a little bit of black over some of this. Anyway, guys, I hope you all kind of enjoyed seeing us do a pumpkin. Again, if you want to see last year's that I did Star Wars with, it's on my Instagram, InkyWell. That's better. Just a little too much orange. All right, let me dry that before I tip it back up. <laughs> But we did it in about oh, two and a half hours because we had an hour, uh, part one, an hour of collaging it. And then we did another hour and a half or so of, let me, let me see if I can, let me close the blinds for a minute. See if you can see the color better because it's really bright now. There we go. That's a little better. Now, now we can see it in its mystery. I need a few more of those stars. 
Hang on, guys. I froze for a second with incoming mail. I'm going to need a few more of the big twinkly stars. Like, for instance, right here. I need a few more of these added. Like that. I need one right here. Kind of like where it's real bright, where it's going in right there. Another one right here. Thanks, Eileen. So I need a few more of these bright stars like that. Highlight his eye. Thanks, guys. It was fun. I'm just kind of going all the way around, seeing where else I might need something. Some of this more defined here would be nice. Just a few extra bright streaks. And then my little fish here. A little bit of eye. Okay, see I got a big blob of white right there from rolling around. Let's fix that. I have to really should be drying as I go, but I'm not, you know. <laughs> All right, let me dry that. Okay. So it needs varnish. So let me pick an area just to put some varnish on it um, because I can't varnish the whole thing, right, until, I mean, I can only varnish a section at a time. I just want to make sure this, because once you varnish it, you can't add any more paint. So I want to make sure that every area, I have everything I want. Okay, so I know I like this area right here. Let's go ahead and just put some varnish right there, just so you can kind of see. And I just use, uh-oh, I want my heat gun. The Delta Ceram Coat 
interior exterior varnish okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and I I will use a um, what do you call it a, a sponge brush but for now I just want you to see a little bit let me just do a little bit right up here so you can just kind of see what it looks like when it's varnished. Now it does dry clear, okay, and I don't really shouldn't varnish it before I photograph it, if uh, because I won't be able to post it if I've rolled paint uh, varnish on the bottom of it. <laughs> you know? Okay, so you can kind of see, see how it looks when it's varnished. So, yeah, because when I take pictures of it, I'm going to want to take pictures of it all over, you know, different, different positions of it. So I don't really want to get too much. I can either varnish it in sections and wait till tomorrow to post or not varnish it and post it before I varnish it either way. So where are you going to add gold? I thought about putting some gold. Let me see where am I uh, where is it? If I can remember where my rubbing box, my rubbing box, hang on, I got some here somewhere. Remember where I put it. And I can even use gold paint if I have to. I have some rubbing buff here somewhere. It's a matter of finding it because I hadn't used it in a while. Uh, where is it? I don't know if there's my stamp stuff somewhere. Well, I'm not seeing it. Oh, wait, I think it's in with my watercolor. Hang on. I think it's in one of these drawers. Hang on. over here but maybe not in with my Crayola crayons. Oh, okay. This stuff. <laughs> Remember this stuff? This old scrapbooking rub and buff stuff? And the one, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. Last year's pictures, yeah, they're on my Instagram. So remember this stuff, this rub and buff? I mean, I don't know what it was called, but anyway. So I'm going to use this, and it's like an oil. It's like an oil, see? So uh, this is what I was talking about, putting some of that on. Oh, I forgot. I just stuck my hand in the varnish. <laughs> All right, so there. Let's see if you can see that. Don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'll try to get in a couple of spots. See, like that? Just, like, tapping it with some gold or you know a little bit like rub and buff which you know this is some kind of form of rub and buff <laughs> like that okay Yeah, the, I did varnish. Yeah, I'm going to varnish it. I did the last year, too. It's still, it'll last about a month, a month and a half, you know. 
So there you can kind of see what I meant by putting some gold shine on there. See it? Probably about a month or month and a half. I don't know. I guess it depends on the size of the pumpkin too. I'll, I'm going to let Hubster take it to work. You know, I'll keep it for a couple days. I'll take some pictures. I'll varnish it. Let it dry well. And he'll end up taking it to work and sit on his desk until it starts collapsing on itself. <laughs> so anyway, there's where it's varnished. You can see. Like right there is where the varnish. And then over here where there's no varnish. So I'll probably go ahead and varnish it. At least, you know, maybe not the... Well, yeah, I need to varnish the whole thing. But I only can do that. It'll take, you know, a couple today and tomorrow to dry. To dry. Yeah, they do at his work. Nobody comes here. <laughs> but they stop and look at it when it's on his desk. <laughs> they they did the Star Wars ones anyway. You know, with the Star Wars characters. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, well, um, we can... Janet, can we talk you into streaming? Carrie's going to stream at 4 for Jean, because Jean's still out of town with the Canadian um, Thanksgiving. And uh, if Janet will stream, then I'll, um, we'll, we can go to Janet's house. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was fun. I might take pictures before I varnish, because... I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah, and a fake pumpkin. Yeah, do it on. Now, the only thing about doing it on a um, plastic pumpkin, you'll probably need to sand it so that it, so it'll, the paint will stick. Because otherwise, you don't kind of just like what was happening here on the bottom. And this is a real, this has got some tooth to it. But if you try to varnish, I mean, if you try to um, paint acrylic paint on a slick plastic pumpkin, you know, it's probably not going to stick. A walking dead pumpkin. Yeah, I've got a walking dead calendar I could cut up. Vicky. I don't have another pumpkin today. Not set up and have no plan, but it could show art supplies for a while. Okay, well, how, how long will you need to set up? I can stream for a little while longer, Janet, while you set up. Janet was going to do some art supply um, video. Thanks, guys. So I'll wait till the lag catches up, Janet. Let me know. Give me a few minutes to get stuff set up. Okay. So if y'all, uh, can you put your link in there, Janet? Or somebody, Carrie or somebody put um, Janet's Ustream link in there. Um, I know the name of it, so if y'all are watching the recording and want to know Janet's Ustream, the name of her show is, I can't put a link, I mean, I can't actually tell you the link, but I can tell you the name. It's Monkey Island Madness, I think. Is that right? Monkey Island Madness? Am I correct, guys? Monkey Island Madness, I believe, is Janet's Ustream channel. So, give you about 30 minutes. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll take some pictures for about 30 minutes, and I'll post them on Twitter. I hope y'all enjoyed our Monday stream. And um, we'll go go to Janet's house, and she's a new streamer. We're trying to encourage her to, you know, do something every week. We're, we're, we're not, um, <laughs> I don't want to say we're forcing her, but, you know, we, we, we kid each other. Everybody kids each other. So... Okay, Monkey Island Madness. So if y'all want to look for, uh, if you're watching this recording, um, on check her out. I mean, peruse the awesomeness that is Janet <laughs> on Ustream. Maybe she'll upload to YouTube. I don't know if she's tried to do that yet. But um, yeah, so thanks, guys. I'll, I'll take some pictures of it and post it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And, uh, and we'll see you uh, over at Janet's house. Thanks, guys, for being here. We'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>